Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another broadcast of Wealth and Wisdom with Fred Belcastro from the John DeVito Broadcast Center on the Windy City Hometown Entertainment Network and Jack FM 89.7 WRHS FM Norwich on Friday, March the 30th, the year 2018. And now here he is, Mr. Fred Belcastro. When you're smiling, when you're smiling, when you're smiling, I'm over and smiles with you. Smiles with you. And when you're laughing, when you're laughing, oh you're laughing, oh, you're laughing. Mm, when the sun comes shining through. shining through. When you're crying, when you're crying, you bring on the rain. Bring on Stop the rain. your side. Stop your side. Won't you be happy again? Happy again. When you're smiling. When you're smiling. Keep on smiling. Good morning and welcome to the Wealth and Wisdom Show. My name is Fred Bell Castro and I'm your host over the next 30 minutes as we provide financial clarity so that you can really create, cultivate, and keep your wealth in a tax-efficient manner. And as usual, we're broadcasting from the John DeVita Broadcast Center here on the northwest side of Chicago, and joining us at the controls and directing this program this morning is Mr. John DeVita himself. This Friday morning, you're listening. Of course you're listening to us on Jack FM. This is your favorite station. Why wouldn't you have it on all the time? But nevertheless, let me just say that thank you for listening to us this Friday morning on Jack FM 89.7 WRHS out of Norwich, Illinois. During the week, you want to talk to me, uh, have a suggestion, recommendation, comment on anything I've uh, mentioned on the air, you can reach me at area 630-673-4360. Be delighted to talk to you, as I am with all of our listeners and our, our guest listeners, as well as the clients and former clients. People ask me, what, what is it that you actually do, Fred? And uh, Because I'm not talking about a, uh, a set of Callaways uh, let me, or a Big Birth. Uh, uh, let me go on and on. I'm not talking to you about clubs. Uh, I'm not talking to you about products. I'm talking to you about a process, a process of uh, accumulating money. Uh, yeah, I'm in the financial service business. I've been in the financial service business over over 50 years. Uh, I'm a current uh, a certified financial planner and have been so for the last 30 years but I have a very unique or I been told that it's a very unique approach and that I help people find money I help you find the money that you're currently losing unknowingly and unnecessarily realistically you sit down with an advisor there's only two ways that any advisor can help a, a client financially and that is number one Find the silver bullet, the magic bullet, the mag magic product that's going to take you over the hump. Be able to fill up those those investment tanks and savings tanks that you have and uh, potentially pay you higher returns and solve all of your problems, uh, along with a little bit of a risk. Or the other way is, if, hey, listen, before we start rolling up our sleeves and buying buying stuff, buying products, why don't we be more efficient with the uh, dollars we already have and avoid those unnecessary losses? Bingo. There's, there's where the uh, greatest concentration of, of, uh, of wealth is because I believe, I firmly believe, after doing this for the number of years that I've been doing it, not to chase a rat, my friend, just that there's more opportunity for me to serve my clients by helping them avoid the losses than by trying to be like that proverbial monkey throwing a dart at the Wall Street Journal stock pages and trying to pick pick winners. So there's more of an opportunity for me to help my clients by helping them avoid the losses rather than trying to pick winners. All right. Continuing on with our, uh, our discussion, one thing I'm going to uh, talk about is our up-and-coming workshops where I've uh, titled them creating your financial freedom people uh, yeah yeah you have to it's up to you remember when I uh, spoke the last couple of weeks and I've used the term it's up to you uh, whatever we do financially it's up to you you're gonna make a decision we're gonna talk a little bit about that decisions uh, this morning but it's your decision your choice 
We're filled with an infinite number of choices as we go through life. As we, as we earn a paycheck, as we earn a paycheck, it'll come into our hands. We have our taxes withdrawn from that. And then we have an infinite number of choices to make. The difficulty is to make the right choices. And that's where the education comes in keeping in mind that we always want to maintain liquidity, use, and control of our money. Because who who worked for it? Whose is it? You see, your money's not mine. It's yours. Make the right choices, and we help you. We help educate you uh, along the road of knowledge and how money, money works. But we talked about wealth potential, and I talk about the uh, all the money you're going to have other than the monies that you win in the lottery. I'm not uh, counting the money that you win in the lottery or the potential uh, windfall you, you come into because of a lottery investment of a dollar, two dollars, or five dollars. Uh, we're, we're just talking about the, the, uh, the finite money that you're going to earn. And it is finite. It's, it's an amount of money. Each individual has a, as, a, as I use a circle of wealth, each individual has a circle of wealth, and that's it. You know, what do you want to happen with that circle? Well, you want it to grow, you see. But we have a finite am amount of dollars. We have a, a wealth potential. And what we do at the beginning of conversations many times is, is take a look at our income potential. You know, a fellow 30 to, to 65, 35 years has an income of 50000 That's going to be increasing along with in inflation, maybe around 3%. Doesn't have any money in the bank right now. He's only 30. He's just starting out, and he expects to get a uh, a 5% return. You know what he's going to make? He's going to earn $3 million, a little over $3 million during his working years. It's a lot of money. It sounds like a lot of money, and it is a lot of money. But when you look at it in terms of what the potential of that those dollars are at his 5% investment return, we're talking $7 million. So in reality, you're going to have the control of over $3 million that can be turned into $7 million. And we have that right right in your circle. We have that $3 million in your circle. If we, you were to receive a paycheck today, for all the money you're going to earn, that $3 million, how would you handle it? Ka-ching, ka-ching, would you, would you spend it? You know what? We talk about spending money, and, I, and I've said, you know, somewhere along the line, the... Uh, the enjoyments today, the little bit of pleasures that we have, uh, the luxuries that we might think, well, I'll just reward myself with a little luxury here, becomes a necessity tomorrow. Uh, I remember, uh, again, we're dating ourselves, and many of the people at the station <laughs> would agree with me that we're uh, dating ourselves. And we say, remember when they used to advertise automobiles, radio heater? You know, it, it was optional. Not every car came with a radio. What do you need a radio for? It's transportation. What do you got to be entertained? Now they have DVD players in the in the uh, automobiles. But at one time, radio and heater was uh, was uh, extra. You paid extra for a heater. Did you ever think of doing that today? You just go. Cool. You buy a new car. Yeah. Do I have an option for air? What air? You mean roll down the window? No, it's air conditioned. Oh. That's a luxury once enjoyed. I mean, a uh, bec becomes a necessity, and uh, that's where we are today. I was talking to a, a client just a few days ago, and she was uh, of the age where she remembered sewing socks for her husband and her kids. I said to her, "I haven't heard anyone talk about sewing a sock in years, but we used to get our socks sewed. Our mother mothers used to sew our socks." When there was a hole in them, so was socks. I said to her, what do you do today? She said, today they buy socks. They, they buy them. And, and if you wanted to put it on your revolving card, you, you're going to be paying for those socks over the next 20 or 30 years, a, a juice payment. Unbelievable. But I'm here to talk about how money works. Now, uh, not about how we work money <laughs> or how we, we throw it away. Understanding that... Your circle of wealth, the amount of dollars that you have is a finite amount. That, that's it. The only thing that we really want to have happen is we want it to grow. That's uh, the only thing that we have in common is that we, we want it to grow. One of the uh, others' common characteristics, we certainly don't want it to, to shrink. We don't want to lose any money. And uh, we said, well, how are you going to make it grow? Well, we, we know that the number one way is to uh, 
get the rate, rate of return. Find a, an advisor that has the magic bullet, the magic program, the plan, the product that uh, that will increase the uh, rate of return on my investments. Yeah, it's true. Listen, I'm not going to deny that uh, uh, an increased return, better investments uh, will add to your circle of wealth. And I, you, you're, you're, it makes good sense to, to look for them. To try. But it's not going to produce the greatest result. It may not be the best course you can take is just to try to f fill the bucket with, with more money. Fill the bucket more money. Fill the bucket more money. But you ever hear of a colander? Of course you have. But I ask that because you're filling the bucket. Do you, ever, do you ever fill a bucket with holes? How long do you keep a bucket after it has four or five holes in it? To keep it, you say, this is good. I, I, I put the water in. I got to run fast with it, because it all leaks out. Do we do that? Do we? Common sense. I talk to talk to the the woman who sewed socks. Common sense. They had a lot of common sense in those days. They didn't throw away objects and and things needlessly. Uh, go buy another one. We need it. We go buy it. Go buy it. Go buy it. Put it on the charger card. Go go buy it. They didn't do that. They may do. They use good common sense. With, with their dollars and with their purchases, uh, you know, uh, we got we got holes in our bucket from the taxes. We got holes in the bucket from interest expense. We got holes in our buckets from car payments. We got holes in our pay, uh, bucket for educational expenses. We got holes in our buckets for vacation. And after running around the block trying to fill this bucket up with water, aren't we tired? Well, we just fall into a habit. We just fall into a, a game of of uh, letting others create our destiny. You know, Mike, Mike Ditka, you, you, you're in charge of your own destiny. Are you with money? Are you? Or are we falling further and further and further into debt? You see? And what is debt? I was going to do a program on what is debt. Maybe I'll, I'll do that in the, in the weeks to come. Uh, is, it, is it really debt? Let's just simplifying it all. Let's look at the basics. Three types of money. All right, first one, and this is one that we, we want to uh, pay attention to, is our accumulated money. Ooh, the dollars that we have accumulated. Ooh, the dollars in our 401. You know, the dollars in our, uh, our four, uh, 503's uh, plans. These are the, uh, the qualified dollars, the IRAs, the savings accounts. Uh, the amount of dollars that we, we have uh, invested or we have uh, currently invested or saved. You know, uh, let me ask you, listen, uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, how how are you doing in accumulating those dollars? Do you have a sufficient amount of dollars in those tanks right now so that you can uh, live your current lifestyle uh, along with inflation for the rest of your life expectancy? How are you how are you doing? You know, it uh, I know it's difficult. It's uh, it's hard to save money and put money away. Uh, one one reason is uh, is our lifestyle. Uh, the, Buying a new pair of socks? No, no. I listen. I'm not saying you shouldn't buy a pair of socks when you need a pair of socks. That's not. But the point I'm trying to make is, is how are we handling the money we already have? You know, we have the potential. Of the the, the uh, illustration I gave earlier of seven thousand. Mine might be only three thousand. Mine may be four thousand. Uh, four million, five million. But whatever that potential is, are we making good use of it? You see, and. Uh, one reason that keeps us from making good use is the lifestyles, the things that, that we went on today. You know, the parking on our blocks are becoming more and more difficult. Well, when these homes were built, uh, maybe mom and dad had a car. Now mom has a car, dad has a car, the kids have a car. Our lifestyle money. This is the dollars that we're spending to, to maintain that current standard of living. <coughs> Pardon me. Keep the standard of living. Have three cars. Have four cars. But use your money. Use your money smart. You know, uh, how much energy do you uh, do you want to spend reducing that lifestyle so you can save more money? You know, we want to put more more money away uh, for our retirement. We hear that uh, more and more today of planning for your retirement. People are living longer, so we, you say at sixty-five, you're not going to live just live just five years, seven years. You're, you go to 90, you've got another 30 years the potential uh, life expectancy of about 30 years. So it, it's not just four or five years. It's a, it's, a, it's a nice chunk of time. It's almost as long as the, uh, the period of accumulation. 
But uh, why don't I take a break there and uh, let me take a sip of coffee with which I need and listen to this uh, well well known tune. Ba ba do ba do ba do ba do ba ba do 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 But if I announced that we were going to play Sincerely, you would say, oh, that's the McGuire sisters from uh, Arthur Godfrey show, Channel Channel 2. No, it's, uh, it was done before them by the Moonglows, and that's what you heard this morning from 1954. All right, getting back to the Wealth and Wisdom program, uh, mentioning once again the uh, the creating of your financial freedom workshops that I do. The uh, Some of the subjects that I, I enjoy talking about is actually talking about how money works and how you can make your money work more efficiently. No, I'm not talking about carrying change and uh, counting coupons and cutting things out. Uh, I'm talking about the institutions and our relationship with the banking institutions, with the money institutions, with the lending institutions, using strategies that will allow us to to enjoy our current lifestyle adjusted for inflation long into our retirement as well. We, we've we earned it. After working uh, 40 years, I, I talk about pulling the, the plow, pushing the plow for for 40 years. We've uh, we certainly should be able to enjoy the uh, our current lifestyle adjusted for inflation and, and really turn that around, turn, turn those years into true golden years. And... Uh, do that with a balance plan. Do you know what a balance plan is? Well, we talk about that. How to create a balance plan and how to how to live between uh, a balancing between our our investment and our savings tank that allow you for an enjoyable enjoyable retirement. T- 
tax efficiently. All right, investment saving vehicles. What are the best ones for us? How do we how do we make application of the best vehicles that are available, either savings or investments? Uh, best filling our needs. Remember, it's all about you. It's all about you. How how to maintain your position for money so it works harder for you now and in the future. Not just a buying a product. What's the process that you use? How do you uh, reduce or how do you uh, minimize the taxes that you have to pay? You say how to take advantage of different different financial options that are available. Do you know what options are available? Uh, this is what uh, what's covered in what we call a process. And when you begin to use efficiency, the efficiency of money, you look at the process first. Before you start, uh, and I and I get into talking about the swing, you know, in a golfer, uh, you know, the swing is the most important thing, uh, not just the, not just the clubs. You need the clubs, you need the products, but uh, should they come first, or should we learn how to play the game first? That these uh, finan- the financial institutions, uh, they know. All right, getting back to the uh, the lifestyle money, we. Uh, and talking to individuals and saying, listen, yeah, I know I need to save more money, but I just can't cut out, take away my wife's car, take away our vacations, uh, live in a different neighborhood. You see, we're not going to change our, our lifestyle. Nobody ever wants it. Nobody should. Nobody has to do that. In fact, we don't do that. Uh, we talk to you about your transferred money, and the transferred money is represented by the dollars that you spend unnecessarily. Um, that that ultimately reduce your circle circle of wealth. These dollars, such as uh, taxes, how you pay the taxes, I just mentioned to you. The the interest that you pay on your credit cards, how you uh, make your car payments, how do you fund your children's education, how do you uh, how do you prepare and fund your your pension plan over and above the company match, how you uh, provide for your children's education. Obviously, if you knew where these transfers were, if you knew how you're mishandling, or they may be mishandled, you you wouldn't do it. But, uh, you know, we, we've got to look at a few possible areas where you are transferring the money and retake those mon- those dollars. And I know that once we find those dollars, and we'll, we find them, that's been my, my position for, for the last 15 years, once we find those dollars, realistically, we, we should put the line share towards your accumulated money so that the the future is a, is a little bit brighter but realistically let's let's be honest uh, we're going to want to use some of that money to improve our lifestyle not take away from our lifestyle improve the lifestyle so that you and your family's journey uh, could be just a little bit a little bit easier you know, too too uh too much of our focus today is uh, making it larger all the financial institutions and all the advisors that we talked to saying you've got to make it larger make it larger, without understanding stop don't try to make it larger without understanding how we may be transferring, giving money away, giving portions of our wealth. Because um, it just, it, we've got to stop. Pay attention to what we're doing. Obviously, if you, you knew what we were doing, if you knew we were throwing money down the sewer, we, we wouldn't, uh, we would already have solved the problems. We don't need you, Fred. But uh, if I could help you eliminate the areas of, of uh, unnecessary wealth transfers I talked transfers so wealth losses uh, you, you'll your circle uh, your lifestyle will increase automatically you know and, and that's our uh, that's our focus as we we look in the areas in which you're tr- losing money and then any money then to try to stop that and uh, use that money to help increase your your accumulated monies as well as increasing your your current lifestyle isn't after all isn't that what we want a, a better lifestyle uh, but uh, uh, you, in order to uh, in order to control that uh, that money in order to control control the transfer of the interest that we pay and, and the opportunity cost and the opportunity cost for for those that haven't heard me talk about it in the in the past is that there's a, there's a cost anytime we give away a dollar interest dollar payment car payments uh, mortgage payments anytime we give a dollar away unnecessarily there's a cost for that and it's called an opportunity cost and the opportunity cost along with the transfer dollars represents all the dollars that we're really giving away 
and that we're losing, we don't have to lose those dollars. But we've never been taught, we've never been shown a process, we've never learned in school, and the hours that we, we've uh, spent in school, in general business classes, I, uh, I've, I've given talks and uh, people aren't aware of this. People aren't aware of the, the money because we're not taught. The only people that would teach us would be the, uh, the advisors that would come into our, uh, our places with a, a product or a bank that has a product. And it's in their best interest that we don't know because they make money on us not knowing. But uh, before I get into the thing, there's, a, there's no reason to, to cry. There's no reason to, to lose tears over this. Let's listen to what Mr. Wilson. My heart is crying, crying. Lonely teardrops. My pillow never drops. Lonely teardrops. That'll wake us up. Lonely Teardrops by Mr. Jackie Wilson. All right, uh, getting back, and I know my uh, my time is running running down. Just uh, let me make a statement and uh, something that we'll talk about uh, again next week. In order to, to put ourselves in a position, uh, control the transfer of our dollars and the opportunity cost that goes along with them, here's the hook, my friends. you got to be in a position, a financial position, where you have the choice of using your money or someone else's money. Understanding that we p we pay juice no matter whose we use. It costs us interest no matter what. We borrow somebody else's money, we pay them interest. We use our own money, we lose interest. So we'll discuss that a little bit further uh, in, the, uh, in the days to come. But right now, uh, my time is gone. I'd like to thank uh, everybody who's affiliated with the with the show here, all the good folks at Jack FM 89.7 for their uh, kindness and their support, their suggestions and recommendations and everything that they've done to make this show uh, show possible. Thanks to Mr. John DeVita for uh, directing the program each day. And uh, in the days to come, the weather gets a little bit better. Why don't we uh, do something kind for one another and uh, make somebody smile? Thanks for listening. Talk to you in the, again next week. 
When you're smiling, when you're smiling, when you're smiling, when you're smiling, and the whole world smiles with you. Smiles with you. And when you're laughing, when you're laughing, oh you're laughing, oh, you're laughing. Mm, when the sun comes shining through. shining through, when you're crying, when you're crying. You bring on the rain. Bring on the Stop rain. your sign. Stop your sign. Won't you be happy again? Happy again. When you're smiling. When you're smiling. Keep on smiling. Keep on smiling. And the world will smile. <laughs> You have been listening to Wealth and Wisdom with Fred Bell, Fred Bell Castro from the John DeVita Broadcast Center on Jack FM 89.7 WRHS FM Norwich and the Windy City Hometown Entertainment Network on Friday, March the 30th, the year 2018. This broadcast was directed by John DeVita and our special thanks to radio station manager Kevin Zeflick of WRHS FM Norwich and the executive producer of Windy City Hometown Entertainment Network, Mr. John Chaconda. Until next time, friends, please be safe and thanks for listening. Today's broadcast was pre recorded on Wednesday, March the 28th, the year 2018. And this is Jack FM 89.7 WRHS FM, Norwich, Illinois. Have a safe, enjoyable, and happy Easter to all our great listeners. Thank you.